Cause my fear is being weak But I'm human just like you So when I feel like I just can't go on I turn to you Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Suit Talk Show. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host of the show. Today's topic is, if you can't get over your ex, try this. A lot of people have been writing me about how hard it is for them to get past their ex. They keep thinking about them, they can't move on. What is the problem here? What are they hanging on to? Some people have been trying to get over them for a couple of years. Now this is a, a situation that causes so much trauma in your life because you're thinking they're already moved on, they're doing all this stuff. Why am I sitting here holding on to all these things when they don't even miss me? Well, that's kind of the problem is you are holding on to things. You need to write a list of all the stuff that you don't like about your ex. Now I know this sounds very sort of negative thinking, but when you're stuck in a position of holding on to great memories and all these wonderful things about your ex, you're not able to move on because you're not getting to the real bottom line of why you broke up. And why you broke up is those things that you're going to be writing down on your list that aren't so positive. So I'm talking about things like, how did they make you feel? most of the time you were with them? Did they listen to your dreams and aspirations? Were they there for you? Did they encourage you? Was it all about them? Did they have family drama that continued to put pressure on you as a couple? Did they not want kids and you did? Were you complete opposites and things that you did together were minimal? All these things you need to write down on your, your con list. Forget about the pro because you've been hanging on to the pro list for two years or six months or however long it's taking you to get over your ex. Now this is for both men and women, this conversation. There's a lot of guys that have a breakup and they hang on to it for a long time. Sometimes they're angry about it because, you know, how dare this woman walk out of my life? And same for women, how dare this guy? I'm the good catch, what's wrong here? Well, as much as we all want things to work out all the time, it doesn't do that. Like we change all the time. And if we don't grow together, it causes a lot of problems, especially after 10, 15 years. This is why it's so important to nurture your relationships. But sometimes there just isn't that much there. We think there is, so we hold on to those dregs of what we thought were so good and can't understand why they've let us go. It's time for you to sit down and say, why am I not with this person? Because nine times out of 10, it's pretty much your, your same view, but you've just been kind of putting it on the back burner. So don't ignore the things that didn't work out in your relationship. And again, this is kind of against my sort of protocol on how I handle things with people because I want you to think about positive things. But in a case like this, if, it's, if you're hanging on to your ex and you can't stop thinking about them and, and getting past them, you need to do something like this. Write these things down. Ask your friends. Maybe they've got something that you don't remember. Put it on a list. Put it on the fridge. Read it every day. Don't contact them. Every day you're going to start thinking about them less and less and less. They've moved on. So what are you holding on to? I don't know. I don't think that you should be sitting there wasting any more time if they've already gone on to the next part of their life. So hopefully that will help. Write them down. Read them all the time. And if you can't think of anything, get in a group situation and ask people that you know. What do you think went wrong with us? And all of a sudden you'll start going, oh my God, I see it now. There's clarity. And once you have that clear vision of what actually transpired and why your relationship ended, it'll be easier for you to move on. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got some new subscribers. I'm very happy about that. And leave your comments because when you leave comments, I've got things to talk about on the show. So send me your thoughts and uh, I'll write you back, I promise. Thanks everyone.